You see, neither myself nor Pasco Pratiru Sangram Samiti, uh, we are not opposed to industrialization. But we are opposed to the type of industrialization that is going against uh, the guaranteed agricultural economy. The established agra agrarian economy should not be demolished for any type of uh, industrialization, maybe FDI or domestic investment. So that is our motto. We have been conducting the resistance struggle against the POSCO steel plant to be set up in Dhinkia, Nwaga and Gadkujang near Paradip. And also we have been fighting against uh, the port that is to be set up there on the site of Jatadhar. You see, because at, our, at, an, uh, at an 8 kilometers distance, there will be a uh, POSCO port. India needs more ports, I don't uh, deny. But India doesn't need multinational ports. Ports owned by multinational and private companies. So another fact is, uh, if a POSCO port comes up uh, on the site of Jatadhar, then their uh, inundation will start. There will be heavy water lagging. And uh, entire paddy land will be submerged in water. Both, both the major communities of the society, that class of the society, uh, taking the economic group into consideration, economic consideration, that uh, uh, fishermen community and peasantry, both will be deprived of their natural livelihood. So we consider the displacement of livelihood is, is, the, is the real displacement of a family. The family may be there. His house, home and homestead may not go in the project area, but if his uh, livelihood is, is displaced, uh, his dependence on the forest land is dis uh, displaced, his dependence on the sea, uh, Jatadhar river is uh, displaced, then that is the real displacement. So for which we have been uh, fighting tooth and nail relentlessly against the POSCO steel plant. POSCO actually is, uh, the government is again and again saying, and even when you made chief minister last time, Chief Minister also told that he will visit the place very soon to uh, listen to the people, to, li to listen to their problems. But why the CM is still not visiting the place? What are the blocks? Actually? You see, the CM didn't commit to anybody. The CM committed to myself that he would come over the area and see and have a direct, inter have a direct interaction with the people. Uh, for what uh, the people have been fighting so hard uh, for... Uh, uh, their livelihood and uh, you see I can uh, speak uh, uh, in one sentence that he is a betrayer he has betrayed the people and uh, more to add he is afraid of facing the common people so the POSCO and the government is saying that uh, the RR package they have developed is unique in the country and it is the best as they claim it you know, as Abhasav and President or Chairman of Posko Pratiru Sangram Samiti, I have nothing to say on an RNR policy 2006 of the state government, whether it is best or worst. But I can say that uh, we have no connection. We have no links with RNR policy. We are not for Posko. We are not for bargaining with the government. We are against Posko. And our fight will continue till the logical conclusion and till the Posko is out.